I wanted to wrap up this year's videos with one final video. Um, over this past year, I've had 320, 330,000 people watch my YouTube videos on magnetic coupling. And I wanted to sort of distill all my ideas and down to the simplest way to comprehend kind of um, where I'm going with all this. Um, this is a completely new type of mechanical system. I know that magnetic coupling is a known phenomena and it's in use in, um, in, in certain industries currently, but the way um, these, um, my arrays and magnets are designed presents a whole new type of kind of understanding of uh, mechanical coupled systems. Um, I know some people out there on the internet, when they see this, they think it's some sort of free energy device or a perpetual motion machine or you know, something to that effect. And this is really completely not what this is. And I want to dispel that notion immediately. Um, I believe in physics and the conservation of energy. It can't be created or destroyed. Um, but there's a lot of different forms of energy. Um, there's chemical energy that's, you know, for combustion. There's gravitational energy from objects falling, nuclear energy, heat energy, um, all sorts of types of energy systems. And two I want to focus on um, is magnetic energy. Magnets, like batteries, are a form of stored energy um, in the sense that once you orient the fields in the physical magnet itself, um, they're kind of fixed, but it takes uh, energy to place them in that orientation, those atoms in the orientation. Um, and so the other type of energy is, you know, the rotational and mechanical and kinetic energy. And there's something called elastic energy, which is like a spring too. And so essentially part of my idea is that um, it, it's based on the fact that the projected field outside of the physical magnet um, can project um, definitive nodes that, um, that can couple together. And you can see it in the rotations of all of these devices. They, they lock in at the nodes. And so when you sort of see this in a illustration, like what I have here, um, what's occurring is as they rotate, these attractions of the magnets go lock into each node. But as they move from this fixed position um, or at rest position and you start to spin them, there's kind of a little bit of an accelerating effect um, from the field as they move together closer and then accelerate and then they find the next node. And so they keep spinning together like that. So in this system, kind of what's occurring is that these are two magnets, a north and a south, um, is that um, is that as they rotate, they're kind of doing um, this motion where they're they're at a V and then they go back, they go back and forth like this. And as they go back and forth, um, it's kind of like a, a, a spring effect or a triggered action of potential energy um, as you start the rotation. And so this kind of momentum that gets built up by displacement does some of the of the fields does some really interesting things and so what happens is is that the translation of the fields um, they actually counter rotate and 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 revolve in different directions as they move from the center and so this counter rotational force of magnetic coupling um, and it, it kind of, it's, it's a little bit of an accelerating force um, in that um, as the gaps between the magnets 
go from further to, to closer, um, there, there's an attraction of a, um, it's a, an accelerating field. Um, so these types of systems that can be developed have applications and a wide range of applications from you know, electromagnetic um, power systems where you could take and you know, put, like I've done before, is you put a generator uh, and a driving motor and you connect all of these together and spin them and the central driver spins the other arrays. So if it was connected to like a, a wind turbine um, or a water turbine, that you know you get this translational energy of counter rotation, and what you're doing is you're combining a lot of smaller things um, instead of like having one big generator on a uh, wind turbine. You have a series of magnetically coupled um, smaller generator systems. Um, we have currently have four patents um, in helium magnetics. It's the company that we formed to investigate this phenomena. And we develop a pump system, which because they're magnetic fields, they can translate through a non-conducting force. And so this, you can sort of see a little bit, this is a clear shell and magnets on top. And so you can rotate uh, and spin an impeller inside of a closed tube. And you could have multiple impellers spinning or multiple generators powering it to get more potential torque. Um, all of these systems are kind of based on these um, smaller arrays and, um, and then they're magnetically coupled together with other arrays and they can be different forms like is a straight line, is this triangular thing, um, it could be in a circle. Um, if you look at my other videos, I've demonstrated uh, various uh, different ways of, um, of realizing an architecture for a specific system um, that can be developed. Um, so, um, I, I guess, you know, my final you know, note at the end of um, 2023 is that I'm looking, you know, for a strategic partner. I know I have a lot of people following me and, and wondering what I'm going to come up with next. And um, I do have a, a, a really, um, a, I'm showing about 20% of what I've thought through. And I have some new prototypes under develop that really change the dynamic of all of this because these, all of these systems that I've shown here is a one-to-one -one system. And for translating uh, speeds, you want some sort of step gear that allows for one, a bigger wheel to spin and spin smaller wheels. And that's exactly what we have under develop. It, it's a little bit different um, arrangement, but it, it's still based on magnetic coupling and that um, innovation allows all of these smaller things to really spin at incredibly high speeds, which means that you can, you know, have centrifuges and um, and some sort of um, you know, navigation stabilization from gyroscopic um, movement. Just the counter rotation of objects in close proximity really create a lot of uh, stable platform for energy, um, kinetic energy transfer. Um, if you have any further questions um, or interests, please um, continue to follow my channel. Uh, you can find me on the internet, heliumagnetics.com, heliumagnetics at gmail.com. I hope to have a great 2024 and perhaps uh, find a partner in one of you out there on the World Wide Web. Happy New Year.